What's up, VS Code community? It's your boy Clarkio, aka Brian Clark, bringing you another Visual Studio Code release highlights video for March 2019. Now we're switching it up a little bit this month, and instead we'd love to hear your feedback on these videos. Do you find them to be helpful, useful, entertaining? Maybe you find them not to be any of that. That's okay, we wanna hear your feedback nonetheless, so leave a comment below. In addition to that, I want to take a moment to thank you all for taking time out of your day to watch this video or any of the past videos you might have watched. I really appreciate it. Thank you for taking that time. And let's get right into it now. Let's check out some of the features in this month's release. If you find yourself having some difficulty dealing with functions that have a lot of parameters, did you know you could use destructuring to help? VS Code provides an option to refactor your code to destructure your function parameters in such cases. It will update both the function definition and any places referencing it. Previously released in preview, the launch URI when debugging feature is now set for prime time. You can set up VS Code to automatically open your server-based applications when debugging. This is particularly useful because with web programs, you typically require opening a specific URL in a browser to trigger server-side breakpoints. Get started by updating your launch configuration to include an option called Server Ready Action, and you're on your way to an even quicker workflow while debugging. One of the great aspects of VS Code is its customization capabilities, and more options keep getting added. In particular, IntelliSense suggestions can now be customized to limit the maximum number of visible suggestions, show or hide file icons within them, and even filter types of suggestions based on keyword or other types. Do you tend to jump around between many different projects? Each of those projects may want to use different formatters when structuring your code. VS Code lets you define a default formatter or specify by workspace to automatically adjust to using the right one for the right project you're in. That does it for this month's release of Visual Studio Code. As a quick reminder, if you have any feedback on where you'd like to see these videos moving forward, leave a comment. Thanks again. I'll see you next time. Happy coding, everyone.